Hey, what's going on, CoinApp TV subscribers? Robert Wapner here. In this video, I want to do a review of the Shaw Brothers Classic, the 8 Diagram Pole Fighter from 1984. I have the Blu ray release here from Arrow Video. I'll talk about some of the special features and give my letter grade at the end of this video. This video will contain spoilers. So, the 8 Diagram Pole Fighter, 1984, directed by Larkar Lung. Um, I watched this on my Blu-ray, like I mentioned. Let me get to the IMDb synopsis, and then I'll give you my thoughts and impressions of uh, some of the highlights uh, from the movie. So from IMDb, it says, Mongols, with the help of an insider, ambush the influential Yang family, defenders of the dynasty. The Mongols must hunt down all of Yang's survivors, so their insidious plot to overthrow the dynasty will not be uncovered. Now, here's, here's what I wrote in some of my notes. We've got Gordon Liu, the star of this film, and Alexander Fusheng is also in, in this movie, or co-leads or something like that. Uh, Gordon Liu's father and brothers are betrayed and ambushed at the battle that kicks off the movie at Golden Beach, which is a, a big, giant brawl right at the beginning of the movie, action-packed. We get to see these uh, weapons that the Mongols are using uh, that capture their spears by kind of hooking them, or wrapping around them, and wrapping around their arms and legs and messing them all up um, at the same time there. So a lot of um, a lot of trickery going on. Not, not good kung fu, not good martial arts uh, using cheating weapons. Uh, Gordon Liu is the fifth son. He manages to escape and seeks refuge at the Shaolin Temple while Alexander Fusheng is the sixth son and returns home mortified uh, by his family's demise. Uh, some of the editing in this movie and the storytelling is a little strange because if you didn't know, this is the movie that they were filming and making while uh, Alexander Fusheng passed away from a car accident, untimely death. So they had to sort of switch gears. I think they put the movie on pause for a little bit and then re revisited it and kind of changed the story a little bit. So if you're watching it, you'll sort of wonder what's going on with Alexander Shane's character in this movie. And that's sort of what happened. They, I think they did a pretty good job uh, overall kind of filling in the blanks. Um, there's, uh, I wrote down in my notes, the sparring fight scenes with Gordon Liu and the monks are standouts and the shots there are very cinematic. So all the stuff, there's just something, a magic formula, magic potion, when Gordon Liu is uh, around monks or in a monk garb or bald-headed in, in sort of Shaolin temples, something right there just always seems to work and be magical. Um, I wrote my notes here that there was a funny goof about the nine-minute mark. You can see the white-haired leader of Yang's golden sword blade break and fly off, but then in the next shot, it's back on the hilt again. Of course, this was back before, like, um, a video tape playback uh, where you could just watch things right away. So sometimes things would happen uh, in the frame and in the movie and you wouldn't even know what happened. And so you got to see the dailies and the film print was printed uh, later on. And sometimes it's hard to really fix these mistakes, but I thought that was kind of funny. If you're watching this movie, let me know if you catch that goof about the nine minute mark. Um, and then like I was saying, uh, yes, Alexander Fusheng, um, big fan of his. I wish Alexander had a great giant legacy of 100 movies behind him, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. Uh, he died during the filming, so the first half, half of the movie, he's in it, and then some of the story, story elements and things kind of hinder a little bit, but you know, there's still sort of an appreciation of this film. It's also worth noting that uh, director La Car Lung has a short but memorable role half, about halfway through the film um, where he's... Uh, He's kind of on his own in this house, the shack, and him and Gord Liu have a little bit of a scene together, and then he kind of helps him escape, and uh, it's a cool little battle there. So let me mention the, the uh, Blu-ray here. I think this is the second time I got the Blu-ray. This is on Arrow. I forgot what, if it was 88 or Eureka that had the other version, but I had that, and then I saw that, and I got this one because I heard that the color grading was a tiny bit better. I don't really know if it's that crazy difference, but brand new 2K restoration. Uh, what do we get? We get uh, Tony Raines on here. Uh, interviews with some of the actors. Of course, Lily Lee is in the movie. I didn't mention her. Gordon Liu, Lily Lee. Um, some of the interviews by uh, Frederick 
Ambrosian, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, a tribute to Fusheng, a short film, uh, which I believe that might have been on some different releases. So really great overall. It's got a little slip case there, and I got the other cover on there. I don't know if this is out of print yet, but if you don't have that in your collection, you must purchase the eight diagram pole fighter. I'm gonna give this a letter grade of an A minus. Rewatchable, highly entertaining, great. It would probably be an A plus if the story structure didn't have to be sort of reworked uh, because of the early passing. So A minus is still a great film. So let me know if you've seen this movie in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.